What's up Android fans, this is Anbhavya, back once again from Geeky Gamer and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the top 10 best Expose modules for your rooted Android device. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now, starting off the list at number 10, we have, as you guys would have guessed it, XUI mod. Now XUI mod is basically a exposed module which allows you to theme every part of your Android device. And by theme, no I do not mean icon packs and launcher but the different types of animations. On top you will notice a section of system UI through which you can tweak clock mods, battery bar, notification. Then we have the animation where you can uh, you know modify the different animations as one you notice right when I swipe up my phone. Now getting into list view animation it's basically the animation which you see when you are swiping down or swiping up now you can change them and there are a ton of them and you can do it upon your liking I prefer the unfold if we choose out the fold and we test it you will notice that it comes out in a different manner and I really like uh, this uh, uh, fle flexibility of this module because uh, you can make your Android device look like you know it's absolutely your own and make it stand out from others. You also have some lock screen mods and scrolling mods and you can also toggle the launcher icon. Again there are a lot of animations and settings to see here which I would prefer you do it by yourself and have fun. So at number 9 we have Xtana. Now, in case you guys would have noticed, my notification or my navigation bar rather is quite different. It says Google on the home one, uh, a recent button and a back button. Now, how did I do this? I did it through this module. Over here, you can see I've selected Googie. So, over here, you can select ton of navigation as well as status bar through which you can make your device look like any other device or even make it look like it's not a device at all. I mean, there are so many, as you can see, basketball, sniper, red appy, some, I guess, blue charm, stuff like that. Now, do note that some of these require the prime version, which is like here, but since I've already purchased it, so I don't have any problem, it just says reboot to see changes. And of course, how did I purchase it? Lucky patch up, bro. No other problem. You can see you just did that. So just set up Nucky Patch here. You don't need to pay for this application again, alright? Now, navigation also you have a lot of options. Now, once you're satisfied with your settings, just hit on this check button right here. And just reboot your device. And after that, you'll have your desired navigation bar and notification. So that was Xtana, a very handy module which you might need in customizing your device. Another, the number seven, I guess. Yep, number seven. No, number seven. No, number eight. Oh my god, I've, I forgot how to count. Number eight, we have smooth system progress bars. Smooth system progress bars is basically this. It allows you to modify your progress bar, which you see right on top of here. Uh, this this thing right here as you can see now you can choose different colors you can modify different aspects such as its speed the width of the bar the length of between the separators and I've choose gradients you can also choose mirror mode through which it appears like the two bars meet in between and you can even choose your colors of course I've chosen this because it adds to the material design type of thing you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and it's uh, pretty cool and you can just customize it. Now getting into, if you swipe from the left, you will notice the option for circular mod. Now circular mod is basically this. You can modify it in the same way you can do the normal progress bar. Again, I've chosen it to be like this just to meet my material design requirements. I'm addicted to material design, to be honest. <laughs> so at number seven, we have Lucky Patcher. Now Lucky Patcher, of course you guys know I, I just used it a minute ago. This is your go-to hacking application on Android. You can hack different apps, you can hack in-app purchases, you can purchase applications for free, that is in-app purchases, and you can remove license verification and a lot of stuff as you can see. Now in order to do this, just uh, head over, just hold it and you'll see remove license verification. You can also remove the Google ads if they are worrying you. You can request patch for in-app and LVL emulation which is basically the in-app purchases. You can even change its components and the permissions of this application and a lot more. There are even some custom patches for some uh, app famous applications which uh, will help you as you can see we have custom patch for Google Play Music, Play Store however this application could also ruin totally your Android device so be careful and know what you're doing otherwise just don't mess around with it because it could be harmful now yep I wanna exit thank you for your time so 
At number six, we have incognito tab. Now, what does this allow you to do is you may have noticed that in Chrome, uh, in in an incognito tab, you can't exactly open up. Uh, let's just uh, go to a new incognito tab, and I'll switch on my mobile data because I'm traveling right now and I don't have Wi-Fi here, and I'm on 2G. There is even no 3G network. Just just imagine. So what happens in incognito mode is basically if you open up a link in incognito mode, it doesn't open because Chrome doesn't allow it since you're in incognito. Now through this module you'll be able to open up different uh, links in incognito without any problem and they'll still remain you know hidden and won't appear in your browser's history cookies or whatever like that. Okay so I'm guessing this would be number five I guess yeah number five so at number five or oh, is it number five one two three four five yeah number uh, four at number four, okay, what happened? Okay, I got a Facebook notification. Okay, at number four, we have Gravity Box KitKat. Now, I'm on Android KitKat, so I'm using this one. However, if you're on Jelly Bean or Lollipop, you might want to download the other module, which is basically the same, but it's designed for that, you know, operating system of Android or version of Android. Gravity Box, of course, you've heard of it if you've heard of Exposed. This is the number one customizable module on your Android device. You can customize and tweak every part of it and there is just so much to do that it would be impossible to go through all of this in a video. You have lock screen, status bar, navigation bar. As you can see, I have hardware buttons. I'll just focus. I have hardware buttons, so I'm not supposed to have this navigation bar. How did I get it? Through Gravity Box. Just head over to navigation bar and just turn it on and enable navigation bar and just reboot it. And you can do a lot of stuff. You can use lollipop icons, navigation tweaks. You can even add, uh, you know, Pi controls to your uh, Android device. But I didn't do that because I don't prefer it. And it, there are a lot of customizations to do in this application. And I would say that this is the best module out there for customizing your Android device. So at number three, I'm guessing. At number three, we have um, flat style colored bars. Really, I don't know how to count. What is wrong with me? Flat style colored bars. You might have noticed that my navigation or my notification or status bar uh, matches with the color of the application I'm currently in. And my navigation bar has the same color, or should I say the color of the icons of my navigation bar. How did I do this? Through flat style color bars. Just head over to status bar and uh, just, uh, it is going to be, style is going to be tinted of course. So just go back and for my effect navigation bar, uh, you will choose uh, linked nav bar icons with status bar background. So you get this nice little uh, amazing type of uh, feel, you know. And yeah, it basically allows you to more look your device more like material design. In case you notice, I'm in exposed now and my status bar is again black and my navigation bar, the icons are again black. So it's uh, really amazing and you can do this to do whatever you want. I mean, it's, 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 it's there, right? It's there. Then we have Coolify Flat. Coolify Flat is an exposed module which helps in reducing your device's temperature. Now, if you have one of those devices which heats up in a moment after heavy usage and stuff like that, this is your go-to application. Now, this is not necessarily a module. You have to download it through the Play Store and I'll leave a link in the description. However, it does have a exposed module uh, link, you know, the check thing to which it uh, gives you the temperature in the status bar. Now this is an uh, amazing root app as well as module because believe me guys, the moment you turn that fan on, uh, you can actually feel that your device's temperature is uh, you know, going down. And it's really handy in case you're one of those devices which act as a heater during winter. Damn, I'm too good. <laughs> Anyway, so number two, I'm guessing, is Chrome Pie. Now, Chrome Pie basically adds, uh, uh, what do you say, Pie controls to your Chrome. As you can see, we have Pie controls. You can even modify different uh, aspects of it. We have settings from here. We can go to our desktop uh, stuff, I guess. You uh, you can enter a URL, share, even search. You can go to your tabs. Uh, you can even add an incognito tab from here, as you guys can see. And you can even go to your wish list and stuff like that. And it's really nice. Uh, you can choose the hotkeys and stuff like that from where you want them to choose. And I really feel that it's amazing. Now, I don't know why that happened, but my system just, uh, system UI just rebooted. So yeah. My phone sucks. Anyways, <laughs> so that was Chrome Pie. It's really helpful uh, for people who, you know, you can even hide these. 
because what's the use of having this as well as the I mean uh, the Chrome Pie or Pie controls okay number one boot manager yep boot manager you might have guessed it or you might have not but this is the hands down best Xbox module you can download as of now now do not that is according to my opinion and my usage and you may not may or may not agree now what does boot manager allow you to do it basically allows you to select applications which should not be executed during system start now what does that mean it means that different applications I mean almost all applications start up when our device uh, turns on or restarts thereby reducing the boot time of the device through this uh, module what you can do is you can select different applications which shouldn't be turned on uh, during your system start thereby reducing I mean who needs your, your uh, coolify Facebook when your device turns on right I don't need that so you could just blacklist the applications and the red bar over them means that it will not turn on during uh, system start now you may want to keep your uh, go to applications like AC display which is my lock screen Android Wear which I need and my Google keyboard which I need and you know your launcher that is an over launcher and stuff like that notifications my messaging app Textra and stuff like that so you might want to select a few which are which you really need and you could just blacklist the rest of them so that they won't turn on when your system is turned on and thereby reducing the boot time and making your device snappier so that was it for today's videos guys I hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed it Please leave a like if you liked it and subscribe to The Geeky Gamer if you haven't already. And as always, share this video to your friends, family and everybody who's interested in tech. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Anubhavya signing off from Geeky Gamer. Peace. Yeah.